Hi, I'm Jim Carey, and this is a Fence Hawk Perimeter Security Array. We had the existing chain link fence with the barbed wire, but people are still coming into the storage area. And they've got boats and high-end RVs, travel trailers, I mean, a lot of expensive stuff stored here. The array, and it's going to be hard to see on camera, is this line, this rows, these rows of electrified fence wire every six inches apart, starting three inches off the ground. If you, I'm not going to do it, they're electrified now. If you reach up and grab one, like you're on the barbed wire, you grab one of those wires, you're grounded to the barbed wire, you grab the wire, you get such a shock, it'll knock you right off the fence. If you cut the chain link fence and push it in, you'll hit the wire, you'll get a shock. Cut the chain link fence, pull it out, hit the wire, touch the wire, get a shock. Shock the Nazi backwards on the ground. Cut the wires, cut any one of the wires, and the alarm goes off. In 10 years that we've been installing these fences, nobody's ever gotten through one. Thank you, I'm Jim Carey. Chain link fences keep casual thieves out. You can add all the extra barbed wire you want, but with a $10 pair of bolt cutters, they're going to go through that barbed wire and come straight through that fence. So if we add an electrified perimeter security array to that fence, we can monitor the status of the fence and know the moment somebody comes through and then trigger an alarm and issue the appropriate response, such as the police. We start with a piece of sturdy, thick PVC, inch and a quarter or larger. The easiest way, the most reliable way we found to connect that to the fence is to use muffler clamps. Now we modify the muffler clamp by drilling out a hole in the middle and finding the appropriate size bolt that the head will just fit inside that clamp without spinning and it'll be long enough to hold the PVC. We then attach two of them to each fence post through drill our PVC and attach the whole assembly together just like this. So the secret of one of these jobs is mass production. First thing we did is we went out and counted how many posts we're going to need and how many corner posts. We then took each post, and this is a six foot chain link fence, so we took each piece of PVC and cut it off at eight feet long. We then measured, drilled a pilot hole, and, and screwed in short sheet metal screws with a rubber grommet on them. They hold the electrical wire real well and they're a lot less money and a lot less labor to install than regular electric fence insulators. So we made up our 200 and some posts with cut the length with the little sheet metal screws all installed. Then we go out to the field and we measure how high up we're going to put these. Um, in other words, we measure where we're going to put the muffler clamps and drill those holes right on site. Again, it's a mass production process. When you first put the U-bolts on, you want to leave them a little loose so that you can wiggle things up and down. Because you want to make your wires look as straight as possible. You know, this next shot gives you a good idea of how the uh, muffler clamps attach to the fence and how the posts attach to the muffler clamp. And you leave them finger tight when you first put them on so you can wiggle it all up and down. And the first few go slow, but as your crew gets trained, uh, it turns into a mass production thing, and they'll go faster as you go down the line. Now in the corners, we use 3-inch PVC, and again, we bolted them to the corner posts. But if you have a long expanse, better than 3-inch PVC might well be a metal pipe of 2 to 3 inches sunk well into the ground. But in the stony soil that we had here, uh, the, the owner didn't want to rent a uh, hole drilling machine to go to that trouble so we bolted three inch PVC to the corner post because the corner post will take a lot of stress from all these wires this particular fence had 16 wires on each on each side here's another little tip to watch out for a common thing when putting the u-bolts uh, on is to catch a piece of the fence wire inside the bolt now look carefully here to the right of the fence post you see she's caught a piece of that wire, and for where she's standing, she doesn't notice it. It's okay, it doesn't hurt anything, but if you want to slide that clamp up or down any, 
to adjust the post, you know, just to get things straight or whatever, you'll find that it doesn't slide. So she doesn't notice it, but quality control is going to pick up on it in a minute or two. Once your crew has installed a few posts, they're trained and things will go a lot faster. Quality control just noticed that the U-bolt was catching a piece of the fence and fixed it. Okay, we've got all the wires up, and the last thing to do is to glue the caps on the top of the post and install a black plastic insulator. Two reasons we don't use insulators all the way down. Number one, the shoulder is so wide on them that you can't screw them into the post. Uh, the post isn't thick enough, it'd have to be solid, so you end up having to glue them in. The second reason is cost. So here's our completed fence. Down at the corners, at the end of each row, we put a turnbuckle and a compression spring. This helps keep all the wires tight and gives you a way to take up slack because there will be some stretching after it's been installed for a month or two. So I pre-drilled holes in the center of the pipe caps. And at this point, we've gone down the length of the fence, glued on all the caps, and glued the insulators to the caps, and they've set up. And because that little split in them, it's easy to go along with a loose piece of wire and just insert each one. An important part of finishing up the job outside is the signs, because we want this to be intimidating. Now you notice the sign here says animal enclosure. Uh, I like the high voltage signs, but in some localities it's legal to have an electrified animal enclosure. You just can't have an electrified fence. In another video, we'll discuss hooking up the fence hawk, the fence energizer, and all the components inside.